Hey guys, it's Texas1984 coming at you to show you another uh, build tutorial for Redstone from TerraBuild. Today I'm going to show you how to create some latches uh, to keep your doors shut or to activate systems um, and whatnot, machines and anything of the sort. So I'm going to continue on from what we did before. Um, if you want to check back at those videos, you can do. Just check us out at terrabuild.net or go ahead and check out the YouTube channel of TerraBuild and leave some comments below for things that you may want to learn in the future but for now let's get on with it okay so the first thing we need to do is we need to uh, teach you how to make a T flip flop a T flip flop acts basically as a lever um, or a lever um, just exactly the same so this is what a lever does just pop that there that there so we've got a, our ordinary lever which we can turn on and off now if we've got two levers that we want to control the same position so we pop another lever here we flip this lever on and we come to the other lever and we would try and turn it off it's not going to work so a T flip flop will eradicate this and allow us to activate it using a simple button so what we do is we knock two holes in the floor just like this now you can replace these bottom blocks or you don't really have to but I'm going to just for the sake of this tutorial you dip and pop a redstone torch on the floor here a sticky piston here and the sticky piston here. Then you're going to take a, a block of your choice you're going to pop it on top here. For this sake I'm using stone pop one on top of that and one next to it. Okay. And you're going to come up to on top of it and you're going to place two redstone blood dust next to each other just like this. And you're going to pop a redstone torch on this end and a redstone torch on this end. Okay so just to note that when this block is over to the left as we're looking at it here the power is going to be coming out of the am um, out of this device so we're just going to pop a repeater here a couple of pieces of redstone dust a block and then a lamp just so you can see the output okay so if we want to change the state of this what we have to do is we have to supply the this bit right here with some current so what we're going to do is we're going to pop a repeater here, piece of redstone dust here and I'm just going to grab a button, sorry about this guys, we have to grab a button I'm going to grab that button and I think we're going to replace this potion of harm and save me getting rid of any animals but here we go, so once I push this button it will alter state, so what it does is it sends a small pulse across to this top line here which interrupts these two pistons just for these two redstone torches just for a minute to allow this piston to be pushed over shutting the circuit off pushing it again will allow the circuit to come back on again okay now we can have as many buttons as we like connected to this uh, circuit at any given time so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do this continue on along here now these buttons don't have to be right next to each other, they could be at the top of the stairs, inside, outside, um, it really doesn't matter. Prop a bit of redstone down here. So I can push any one of these buttons and it should alter the state. So I can push that one, then that one, then that one, then that one, and they all do the same thing. Now this button can be further away. It really doesn't matter as long as it's within 15. You remember to extend your uh, redstone. Not too sure how to do that. Check out one of our earlier guides. That'll show you how to extend your redstone signal. But those to those those buttons could be outside. These buttons could be inside of your building. And again, you can just hit the button and it will alter the state. Now, have you noticed these are actually quite slow um, in changing over? So if you that's something that doesn't really require much speed, these are the ultimate choice. They don't usually um, block up unless they're activated too quickly in succession. So if you mash this button too much, or you mash two two inputs at once, it may cause the piston to crash. In which case, then you just replace out the piston. I'm going to show you another version, which um, is a bit easier to uh, implement. That um, requires two buttons to control. Though. That's the only difference between one and the other. Okay, so you're going to come across, this is called an RS null latch by the way, sorry. Um, you're going to come across, you're going to place a small L in the upper position like this, and you're going to pop one torch underneath here, and one torch to the side there. You need a repeater here, a piece of redstone, a block, and then a button, just like that. And then with this, below this torch here, we want to place 
two pieces of redstone like this. Now, hopefully, I get this right, guys. I apologize if I get it wrong. So, when I hit this button, oh, I've got it wrong. So, just need to check on what's going on. Oh, actually, I forgot. I forgot to add a little piece. We need to add redstone dust to the top here. Okay, so we press the button again. You can see it now changes state. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to add signal to here. So we will put our um out. This is our output right here. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just pop a block here, and then I'll lamp on top of there. Okay, so if I push the button again, it changes state. Now it turns on the the circuit. Push the button again. Nothing happens, which is good. That's exactly what's meant to happen. Okay, so as I said before, this circuit requires two buttons to function. So the first button obviously turns it on, and the second button we're going to wire up now, which you do by just placing the repeater here. You're going to need to place a block here to stop the two lines connecting, and then two blocks here. Piece of redstone dust here. And then the button on the front. So then we press this button to reset the circuit. Okay, so this button to activate and this button to reset. Now you can extend these buttons out to where you like. Um they could be as far away as you like. You can have multiple buttons that connect to the same line here. We could have um two power buttons simply by extending this here and placing another button here. Works just the same. Or we can apply multiple red, uh, re multiple reset buttons by just adjusting that and placing it here. Again, popping a bit of redstone behind, button on the front, and then activate it. And there you go. And as you can see, between the two circuits, this is a lot faster, but does require the second button to activate. So there's, there's your two options, on the left you've got a T flip flop and on the right you've got an RS null latch. Thanks for joining us guys, come back and join us again soon. If you've got any requests just let us know in the comments below and we'll try and get to them as soon as we can. Thanks guys.